Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. A small little update on the football thrower. I got a lot of criticism from people that think that I kind of criticized uh, American football or something. That's just all not true. And I also said that spinning is definitely necessary for longer distances, just not for 18 meters. I was just basically angry with ESPN for posting this kind of bullshit video that I don't believe um, has been done very well. Anyway, <laughs> but just to show you um, why the shape really isn't uh, that important for the throw, for a straight throw, I found this old volleyball and it weighs about half as much as this football, probably has more volume though, um, and it is perfectly round, or almost perfectly round, so if the form would be important, it should fly as straight as the football. So let's clamp it into the machine and see how it flies. Okay, so let's see. Clearly, this was not flying as straight as this, and uh, even though this is oddly shaped. And why is that? Well, first of all, because this is just lighter and it has a larger volume. This means it's very sensitive on longer distances. So spinning this round ball would actually help, I believe. This one, though, is a lot more dense and it's heavier, so it has more inertia. And inertia is what keeps the flight straight on this short distance. So there's a million reasons why you want to throw the ball like the Drew Brees guy threw it. But anyway, I just wanted to prove my point that on this short distance, if you're only looking at accuracy, then there is no need for a spin. <laughs> Not with this kind of ball. This one, yes. <laughs> well, anyway, I hope you liked this little update. Thanks and bye-bye.